Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Galea and I'm a professor at the University of British Columbia in beautiful Vancouver. And I'm really pleased uh, to, uh, to give you a little short insight into some of the work that we're doing uh, with this uh, new award. So my research has been centering on biological sex and genetics and how they influence brain health and memory decline, particularly in midlife. And we're using a, an animal model of Alzheimer's disease with increased risk. And what people probably know is that males and females, men and women are quite different, but what you may or may not know is that we see quite a few differences in Alzheimer's disease in terms of rate of cognitive decline, in terms of biomarkers, and it's really, I think, important to harness these differences so we can come up with better therapeutic options for men and women, males and females. And I'm a neuroscientist, so I'm obsessed with certain uh, regions of the brain, and my obsession is the, an area called the hippocampus, which is one of the first areas to show decline in Alzheimer's disease. And it also has this really interesting ability to, to produce new brain cells, whole new brain cells throughout life. And there's been some recent research showing that this declines with Alzheimer's disease, as you might expect. And so um, what we're interested is in is looking at whether sex differences that we see in uh, adult hippocampal neurogenesis or the birth of these new cells translates into this greater risk for Alzheimer's disease using this model of um, ApoE4 uh, genotype and, and how inflammation might be uh, um, affecting these new brain cells. So uh, I can't wait to tell you uh, about what we find and I'm hoping that uh, we can, in the future, manipulate this process to come up with some uh, good therapeutic treatments for Alzheimer's disease. Thank you very much.